Let's learn how to make quick and seamless looping patterns in Photoshop. Tip tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tart. Today we're inside Photoshop creating seamless looping patterns. So let's create a new document and this document should be the size of whatever loop you want to create. Mine's going to be square at 512 by 512 pixels, but yours can be obviously whatever size that you'd like. First thing you're going to need to do is go to drew your uh, view menu at the top of the screen here and choose pattern preview. And it's going to give you a warning about smart objects. That's fine. Just click OK. That's going to give you the edges of your canvas and fill the rest of your screen with um, a blank area for you to work on. Let's give ourselves a quick background. Let's make it this kind of pinkish red color here, and you'll immediately see what's going to happen. Anything that you draw on the canvas will be looped seamlessly in the area around it. So with that solid background, we could add a new layer on top, for example, take a nice yellow color and start drawing some geometric shapes. So you can see here that if I were to draw a circle in the center of the stage here, it is looped everywhere in a complete grid. To get something that doesn't look like it's looping, however, you should start to break out of the edges of your canvas because you can draw anywhere on the screen here and it will create for you a seamless looping pattern. Now, obviously, if I were to draw everything within the boundaries of the canvas, the loop would become very obvious. So you need to make sure that you're breaking these things up wherever you can you know, making sure that you're not drawing on the lines of uh, an invisible grid inside your head. Make sure you're breaking outside of the boundaries of the box wherever you can. Making sure that you're not drawing things too um, parallel or moving in the same direction or anything that's too significantly visually powerful or visually heavy. You know, all these things need to just be a little bit different from each other so that when it comes to actually creating the grid, you've got something that is a little bit less obvious as a looping pattern. So drawing in all these little smaller shapes amongst the bigger ones will help to break up that kind of visual hierarchy. And as you can see, we now have a perfectly seamlessly looping grid. Now this looks a little bit um, too obvious that the loop happens here because that shape is too unique. So we'll just come in and we'll just draw in perhaps a diamond. Then here we can draw a very small semicircle and boom, we've already got something that's a little bit harder to see where it loops. Once you have done that, you can go up to edit and define pattern. We can call this shapes geometric. And then anytime you need to use any one of these patterns in your designs, let's make a canvas that's much bigger to show you how it works. Let's make it 3840 by 2160. You can just grab yourself a shape tool drag it over the size of your canvas, go down to your effects panel down here and choose pattern overlay. That's going to open up your patterns window. And if you drop down from this window here, you'll see all of the patterns that you've made previously and you can just choose between them. So you can see here that I've made quite a few different patterns and there's the pattern that we just made. You can control the scale of it by increasing or decreasing the scale here. You can change the blending mode if it was on top of or below different colors, all sorts of things. Really powerful, really quick, as you can see. And the fact that you have this pattern preview is so, so good. It makes it incredibly easy. So lovely, quick, quick tutorial for you today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all the crap that YouTube makes me tell you. And I'll see you next time for another episode of Tip Tut. Thank you for watching this quick fire tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to become a member of the Tip Tut Zone for exclusive perks and benefits, such as discounts, discords, badges and posts, shout outs and tutorials and personalized feedback, just click that join button below. for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.